What makes me so sad, I turn the news on. I mean... And you see all them poor children that got killed in that bus. What in the fuck were you thinking? I hope they take that guy and I hope they beat his fucking balls in. He took away all them poor innocent children. It could have been all of them. But he took five, six of them. You know, I mean, it's it's like... You should have just fucking killed yourself. That's what you needed to do. You shouldn't have drove around the corner and said, We're all going to die. You should have got out of the bus. You should have fucking killed yourself. That would have saved, you know, just all them kids. It would have saved all of them. You would have got out and just shot yourself in the fucking head. It would have been great. Instead of killing them poor kids. I'm so sick and tired of hearing these fucking people, you know, molesting kids, killing kids. It, it, it's getting it's getting to the point where I feel sick every day I get up and then when you turn the news on and you see all this fucking bullshit of senseless fucking crimes you take somebody's life you're taking away their world everything you know and I know that you'll get what's coming to you in the end I know that and I guarantee it will. But they'll never be able to hug their child again, tuck them into bed. You know, it's, 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 I could not fucking imagine if something would ever happen like that to my wife and I with the kids. That would be just unimaginable. And for people to pull a trigger on a gun, carjack you, you know, beat elderly people up, that's fucking insane. To fucking do that, to, you know, to, to the elderly. What kind of fucking, you know, world are we living in now? We don't live in a world of fucking love. It has to be war, and it has to be people just fucking going crazy and just attacking innocent people. Defenseless. You know, I mean, I can see in self-defense, yeah, I could kill somebody in self-defense. That wouldn't be a problem at all. If they were threatening my life and my family's life, yeah, that's that's different. That's totally different. But just to take a gun and to shoot somebody and let them die. What kind of fucking bullshit is that? That is bullshit. And I mean, it is. You know, you can't get more cowardly than just taking a gun and shooting somebody. Now, with their carjackings and shit, they're fucking shooting the people that are giving them the keys. You even give them the keys, they're going to fucking shoot you. They're going to kill you. You know, I mean, all these murders this year in St. Louis alone and throughout the country, wake up, people. When you die, you don't fucking come back. You are dead. You don't come back at all. And you're taking away somebody that, you know, is loved, that they'll never be able to hold ever again. And with all these fucking reality TV shows, I mean, now they have cops live. Okay, you've got cops live. They're supposed to wear uh, body cameras. I don't want to see nobody get fucking killed. You know, I mean, if it's live, you know, you're going to be seeing a lot of killings. That, that's ratings for the TV stations. That's ratings. You know what? This is reality. This is fucking life. You know they're going to be having cameras in everybody's house like that movie, The Truman Show. They're going to be watching you fucking grow up and having you on TV. Reality TV shows have gone a little bit too fucking far, though. I know that. You know, if people don't live, love, and laugh, then there's a problem. I don't want to see death and destruction and violence. I'd rather laugh. You know, to tell a good joke, to get somebody to laugh, to make them feel better. You know, if they're down, that's just it. You know, and you hear all this bullshit, you know, with the nursing homes, how they let, you know, patients just lay and get bed sores. You know what? You're going to get old, too, people that are taking care of them. And, I, and when you do, I hope the same thing happens to you. Well, really, I don't hope that. You know, I don't wish anything bad on anybody. Except for that fucking school bus driver that killed all them kids, you dirty fucking bastard. I hope you fucking rot in hell, too. If there is a hell. But you're going to get what's coming to you. 
in the end. I know that. And I hope one of the family members fucking gets you. Quick and swift justice. That's what it needs to be nowadays.